There you go. All right, can everyone see okay? Today we are going to start with making Mother Brown. Why Mother Brown? Because that is going to be the mama color that we use to make all of the other shades and skin tones that we're going to work with today. Now I need two scoops. One, two, of magenta. Wait, how many? Two. And then mix, mix, mix. It does look like orange, kind of like a burnt orange, right? Nice. These are our new primary colors that we're going to work with the rest of the year. Beautiful. One looks red. If it looks red, you might need an extra. Maybe a little more yellow if it's looking too red. But that's okay, they're all going to come out a little different. So I'm just going to zoom in so y'all can see that. I like how everyone is sharing what their orange looks like. That's great. No, please remember I'm recording. Coming for the absent folks. Once you've mixed that color, watch me up here. I'm going to get a little scoop of turquoise. Everyone see that? Can I hear you say turquoise? Turquoise. Everyone know what turquoise is? It's like a slightly lighter blue. And then I'm going to mix that into my orange. One little scoop. <laughs> and with that, you are going to get a brown color. Wow. Mine looks like a burgundy. Wow. 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 What? And then wipe off the excess brown on the side. Of the cup. Guys, keep your conversations at a whisper. Now, once you have that brown, we're going to start with the lightest skin tone up here, okay? We're going to start very light. We're going to make a valley ring. All right, so I'm wiping the extra brown off of the side, so I should barely have anything on this brush at all. Okay, wipe off as much of the brown you can. And then just kind of kind of like dab it into the next couplet here, because we really want just a teeny tiny amount. As you can see, it's just barely there. I want to 
Now get one, two big scoops of white and put it in this little palette here, in this little cup. Ooh, pretty happy with that. This looks like a very, very light skin tint. Now we're going to start with the lightest shade, the lightest tint of skin to make that first value range. So if you need a little bit extra, maybe you need that third scoop to get that really light highlight, go ahead and fold that in on your couplet. Now once that is nice and mixed in, on your worksheet, eyes up here, I'm going to take that lightest color and we're going to go light to dark on these value ranges. So I'm going to start right here and paint about a half of an inch in. So like kind of like a little square on the edge of my first value range. Very peachy. It kind of matches. Some of these lighter areas. I've been out of the sun. <laughs> so about a half an inch would be kind of like, you know, not quite as long as from the edge of your thumb. Maybe like the length of your nail, your thumbnail. Just a half inch. Now, once you have that, I want everyone's eyes up here. We'll go three, two, one. Eyes up here. I want you to see how small this amount of brown is I'm going to get. I'm going to dip back into my Mother Brown. Boop. A little baby dot on the edge. And mix that into this tint right here. A little bit. Okay, if you don't see enough of a change, maybe you need to grab one more baby dot. Depends how much paint you have in here. Go one more little baby dot. Mix that into your tint. Now we're not going to use any black paint. I know. So we need to make sure. That we're staying on the lighter end so we can get that full range. And now I'm going to overlap with that first amount that I've painted on my value scale. I'm going to overlap it about a quarter inch and then continue my value range just to the right. This is what we're going for, okay? We're going to have this light, subtle blend from slightly lighter to darker. Okay. So by working on paint that's already a little bit wet or like, you know, has a little, like we just painted it, when you take your paint and you go back over it what, with more of this paint, like fresh, yes, it's going to blend exactly. So now I'm going to get one more baby little dot of the brown and mix that into this tint. And then I'm see how I'm overlapping that color again and just extending a little to the side. Try to stay in that first line. Try your best. The light makes it kind of reflective. If I turn it off, it's gonna be a little bit better. How many colors have you added so far? So far, that's. One drop of brown, two drops of brown. Only two. 
Oh, yeah, you can. You only have three. Wait, are we in the third color already right now? Did you yeah. do the third color? Yeah. Yeah. You oh. did? Yes. Okay, wait. The third one? Yeah. It's okay. Each time you're just going to go for one more drop of the brown and mix in. Now, if you're running out of paint, you might need to add some water to make it flow. So I just like to get a little water on my brush, mix it into this color I have here. It helps if you're always like wiping off the extra. And see how I'm pushing my brush down so I can get the extra clumps like in the cup. Push it in there. We don't like to waste paint around here. I know you guys do, that's why I run a tiny ship. Okay, another dot of brown. You know what? I think I need to have some more brown in there so I can really start to get to the darker side. Get some of those shades, some of those shadows over here. That's a little too light. Go for go for another drop of brown, you know? Start to get those mid-tones. Maybe I'll go over it with the color that's just a little darker. So I I don't want you guys to think too much about the specific amount as much as you're looking for a very subtle change from the lighter to the darker. So sometimes that's just one little dot. It depends on how much paint you have as well, right? So you want to start to look Add the paint you're mixing and see like how much you need just to get one step darker, okay? Now as we start to add more paint and this color starts to get darker, we're going to need a little bit extra brown to keep bringing it down into slightly darker shades. So I'm going to add two dots of brown now into that first color, okay? And I will walk around. So there's one, two dots of the brown. And overlapping that last color. Now I'm at the very end. Turn that off so you guys can see better. And this is going to be my darkest value on here, so I want to make sure I'm using enough of the brown to start to get this side, right, the darker side. So let's go for one. Two. Three little dots of the brown into there. So to get a slightly darker shade. And now I'm going to paint in that last value. I got a second color. Okay. I'm turning off that light so you can see because when it's still wet, it kind of reflects it too much. It looks warm. But you want to have a very subtle value change from the light to the dark. Okay, and this is just our lightest skin tone. So be careful with how much brown you add. And I will come around and see how we're all doing. Thank <laughs> you. 
add a little bit of the white because this is going to be maybe like one scoop. Because now I'm going to start on this second range here. Now, remember how yesterday we talked about all the different kind of tones, undertones that skin comes in? We can have more warm, more of like an olive undertone, sometimes more of a cool. I think we're going to start now with making an undertone that's just a little bit warmer. All right, now it's going to depend already on how much of the brown you have and how warm or cool you've already mixed it. Because I saw we all have like a little bit of variation. I'm going to clean off my paintbrush. Rip off some of the extra water. It's good to have a damp brush. I'm going to get like a half scoop of the yellow. And I'm going to fold that into this brown. So now we're going to have one that's just like maybe slightly more of like a warm undertone. Yeah, like a half scoop. Okay. Now I'm wiping off the extra, trying to keep it in the little cup, right? I'm not painting this on the side. I'm just trying to angle it and like push so that extra paint stays in the cup. Smart, smart, yeah. It's almost like she does things for a reason. I would have thought. <laughs> okay. Now, make sure you don't have too much on your brush already. If you need to kind of dip a little, you know, get some of this off on the water cup, that's okay. I'm going to mix a tiny bit of that warm tone into this tint now. Okay, this is the start of our next value scale. It looks the same. A little lighter. Because we're starting with maybe like something that's in here as we start to go on to this medium one, right? So I'm going to start by just painting again like that half inch right here. Now if that color looks too close to what you have here, you might need a little bit more brown, okay? A little baby dry. I got like a what do you say? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, this all looks really good, guys. When do we have to turn into the all right. All right, now eyes up here. I'll give you three, two, one. All right, look up. One dot. 
of my brown into the skin down. Okay, and remember you want to cover slightly the last shade you put down and then just extend it a little bit. A little, little baby amount like that. Going over it. Now it's starting to get darker, right? The skin tone. We got more pigment, kind of. We're starting off with more brown, so I'm going to get a slightly bigger drop of brown this time. Eyes up here. Give me those eyeballs. Three, two, one. Let's look up. Slightly bigger dot of the brown. And I'm going to mix that into here. Brush just chilled. Oh, hey, mm. trying my best, you people. Okay, now overlapping a little bit and extending, so I'm blending my colors. One more dot of brown. These are pretty good size dots now that we got to add into there, right? It'll dry a little different. You might need you might need a little more brown than what you're putting on. Overlap. Yeah. See that? Now you might start to notice that your first range, as it dries, you can see those transitions a little bit better. And so it will start to dry and start to, you'll start to see those kind of in-betweens. You're so right. So true, Bestie. Bestie, hold up. You guys, what, we're not friends? Oh, okay. no. Okay, I'm waiting. She's not kidding. Oh, my God. No, I don't like no. you. She's so good. Now you're not friends. You're the teacher. I'm sorry. Hell, I'm going to do it. Hell, I'm going to do it. Hell, I'm going to do it. Hell, I'm going Oh, okay, okay. Tee -hee -hee. I know it's Friday. Let's settle down. Let's finish this valley range, y'all. All right, one more dot of brown. Woo! Look at that. So overlapping to blend. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish this value range. I'm going to grab one more dot of brown and I'm mixing that in each time. Oh, 
another dot of the brown you might need to start grabbing more to get that color change each time One more drop of brown. Painting over and to the side. Now I'm going for my darkest shade. So I'm going to get extra brown on here. Maybe two drops. Get that last shade. One more little dot for the end. <laughs> Yeah, that's my last one. So we're going to finish the rest of this worksheet on Monday. And then you guys are going to start your... Then you guys are going to start on your skin tones assignment. But we got to have some practice first. We're also going to work on this sphere on Monday. All right. Now, show of hands, who does not have their Ziploc from last time? Oh my. Uh oh. We burned it. Oh, I have enough. All right, finish your value scale. If you have a little bit of paper and towel, it's a little damp, the one that you have, get a little bit of water on it to help your paint stay over the weekend, I'm going to pass it out, okay? And you can begin to clean up. If I can use this one, write your name on the back of the sharpies up here. Come on, thirty two. Oh, we is it the fourth period or fifth period? Oh, you know, we're just wrapping up. We're trying to get the rat here in a few minutes. So, do you need me to send someone? Yeah, okay, so I think that'll be taking like a fifth period if you want to check with them, but I can send them now. Okay, perfect.
Monday. 